Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday Comics, The Gauntlet. Gauntlet. I'm Garrett. And I'm Dave. And we're here today to talk to you about six of our gems, or six comic books that we're looking forward to for the week of uh, March 7th of 2018. So we're in the first week of March. Um, and yeah, so Dave's going to go over six books that he's looking forward to this week, and then I'll go over my six, and we'll get you excited for what's to come to, uh, this week. Alright, first up, Dr. Star and the uh, Kingdom of Lost Tomorrow. This is a Black Hammer book. Uh, real excited for this. Um, Black Hammer's been great. Yes. Uh, Jeff Lemire's been great. Mm -hmm. Don't know what else to say about that. Uh, <laughs> next up, Batman, White Knight. Uh, this is just a real great book. You got a little uh, uh, Mr. Freeze on the cover there. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and this art, Sean Murphy, amazing. Yeah. Uh, I Hate Fairyland. Uh, what is that? Number 17. Uh, this is right in the middle of an arc. Looking forward to this one, uh, Scotty Young's art, amazing. Uh, just a fun little story. Uh, gotta love Batman, Tom King, killing it. Uh, I know it took uh, a little while for everybody to get on the Tom King yeah, bandwagon. Yeah, well, it's, but, he's, uh, he's doing more things with it know, now. I mean, that's the second uh, issue of good. the Poison Ivy arc, and the first part was pretty good, so hopefully this will make it a lot better. Yeah. Uh, we got The Fix, uh, it's number 11. Uh, this book is coming out a little more regularly now, so yeah. that's nice to see. Oh, look at that uh, back cover. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let's do some lines of coke off of a horse's ass. Yeah, that's cool. why not? Uh, and last but certainly not least, uh, Gideon Falls. This is a new number one. Uh, Jeff Lemire, Andrea Sorrentino. Yep. Uh, uh, really creative team from this. Green Arrow and uh, from what else did they do together? It's kind of like a like oh, a, Old Man Logan. They did Old Man Logan, like too. a mystery conspiracy kind of book, is what it I was telling like Marvin last night. Forecast just looking at that cover makes me think of True Detective season one. Oh, nice, it's kind of like okay. a weird, well, that's like, def macabre. definitely a good, uh, definitely a good comparison there. Yeah, all right, let me see. Books are in an order, I gotta find those. Sorry. We're real well prepared. Right. This is what happens when Mr. Pastrami is not here to keep everybody in line. <laughs> All right. So the big one off the shelves today is Oblivion Song number one by Robert Kirkman and I think it's Lorenzo De Felici. Yes. Uh, new number one by Robert Kirkman. Very much looking forward to this. Uh, they were flying off the shelves as soon as I got here. Uh, it's basically a book about someone that can go into a different dimension and for some reason people from our earth got trapped in there and they're getting pulled out and they've stopped this program but this guy whoever i can't remember his name the main character is obsessed with getting him out so the art looks great robert kirkman's obviously a master storyteller so definitely want to dive into this yeah, and it flew up the shelves uh, faster than i could get one so yeah sad. it was i mean and dave was right behind me in line so what does that tell you uh next we got justice league number 40 um we got Christopher Priest and Pete Woods. Uh, we were mentioning on the forecast how you get all these character profiles on the columns of the comic, which is a very uh, old thing to do, but it looks awesome on this cover. We're gonna get the JLA versus the Justice League. Um, you know, we only have a couple issues left of Christopher Priest run, but this has been great for me and Marvin. I know Alex isn't a fan, but definitely something to check out. Um, Try not to cry when I bring up this next one. Hawkeye number 16, the final issue of this run. Uh, Kelly Thompson and uh, we got Romero and Jordi Belair on colors. I mean, it's sad to see it go. I mean, we're hoping that uh, I think Kelly Thompson can stick the landing because she did not plan for this book to end, but it is at, at its end. So I wonder what happens next with uh, Hawkeye. I um, definitely know Kelly Thompson's got some projects coming up for uh, Nancy Drew, but we'll see what she does with Marvel next. So very bittersweet that this is ending. Uh, David already brought it up, but it's a joint gem, and that's Gideon Falls number one. Um, you know, this creative team of Green Arrow, uh, number 18 from New 52, and we also have Old Man Logan, the first volume run, um, post Seeker Ores. So uh, I can already tell this is oversized just by feeling it. Um, you know, the art inside is going to be great. It's going to be a good mystery thriller book, I can tell. Uh, very excited to get into this. Uh, I hope it lasts a long time. But a great first issue cover for I, sure. I flipped open the front cover and looked at the first page. That first page is beautiful. Yeah, I looked like, at it. It looks so good. Right, I saw a map and I'm like, dude. Uh, got a lot of conclusions coming up. I got The Shadow Batman, uh, the final issue, number six. Um, this is the second volume, and uh, it's been a great series. You know, we're finally at the end. You know, I'm is a surprise that it's more about Damien than it has been about anybody else. Uh, it has been about Batman in the Shadow, but Damien's been more at the f uh, forefront of this book. But uh, it's going to be uh, a good conclusion, I think, and hopefully it might turn into a third volume that we'll get between the Batman and the Shadow. So definitely look forward to that. 
And then my last tearful goodbye is to Green Arrow by Ben Percy. Green Arrow's not ending, but yeah, basically it's going adios. Uh, ben Percy's leaving and there's gonna be some filler arcs and then there's a new creative team coming that I think ruined another book I was reading. So I'm definitely not gonna be, this is my last issue of Green Arrow. What a great series since the beginning of Rebirth. Uh, it makes me sad that I can, I'm not gonna be getting this book for a while until I know somebody with talent will be back on it. Um, but I'm excited to read through these uh, however many pages are left and hopefully at least on a good note. So um, that has been six of my books and six of Dave's books. So we hope you have a good week. Um, so I've been Garrett. And I'm Dave. And this has been Wednesday Comics, The, the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Hey everyone, uh, I don't even know what Alex says here. Keep doing you. Uh, keep, keep, keep picking those gems? Yeah, keep picking those gems. Picking yeah, those gems. that's what Alex would say.